In our last session, we took a look at creating a simple design, and I've still got the setup from that here. And in this session, I want to take a look at tweaking designs. We just created a very basic, simple design. But when we create a design, we can do some things even after we've created a design to tweak it and make it look even better. And we can do that using some of the effects tools and interactive tools that we have available in Corel Draw. I'm going to go ahead and grab this design that we set up on the comps here last time. I'll go ahead and start with the blue one, so I'll just lasso everything there, left click. I'm just going to duplicate this over here in my workspace to the right hand side. And I'm just going to go ahead and make that just a little bit bigger, actually about double in size. Now I'm going to zoom in and take a look at, even though this is a simple design, how can I tweak this or improve it? Everything looks pretty balanced, but I think I want to add some more dramatic depth to the stars. You can see that I've got these stars that we set up with the blend tool in the last session. I'm going to go ahead and click on group here. And I've got this group of stars here. Now if we take a look at what we can do with this to make it have more perspective or work in our design, I've got a couple of different options. I can take this and I can go to effects and go to add perspective. And I can start to left click, hold down and pull and you can see now I'm giving that some more perspective or some more depth. I can do the same here, pull down, and now I'm radically changing the way in which this star arch is formed. I can compare it to the top and change that also from the top right. Now let's take a look at how that looks in our design once we've tweaked that out a little bit. We'll bring this over here and we'll go ahead and right click and I'll click on the bat here, order, and I'll go to in front of, which is down here, you're not going to see that but off of order all the way down to the bottom is the third one you can select in front of and I'm going to click on the bat. Now we can see that we've got a really different look going on with this star and I can rotate this a bit and I can come down here and pull this up here just a bit just like that. Now you can see that we've tweaked this out and it's just a little bit more dramatic. I'm going to go ahead and resize that make that a little bit bigger just so it's got some more size to it and then bring it over here and kind of center it up right there. Take this, I'll delete this one, go ahead and duplicate this, so I'll left click, hold down, right click one time, bring this over here to the right, and then I'll go ahead and mirror that, bring that back in here so it lines up with the other star there, right about there, and I'll go right click, order, in front of again, and click on my bat. Now we've got a totally different look going on here. Now I can see that I'm not quite where I want to be because these two are not going to be able to be side by side or distributed correctly. I'll bring that over this way. I'll come down here and skew this in this way just a bit. Go ahead and delete this one and then we'll duplicate again to the other side. Right click here and then we'll go ahead and mirror this again and duplicate that. So what have I done? Well I've I've added more depth or dimension to my design. Order in front of and I'll click on the bat. Now looking at my starburst, I can do the same thing with that if I wanted to. But you can see the difference in how the stars are shaped or formed in my design now just because I used a little bit of Corel's interactive tools. You can look at the difference and we've got more depth. The stars come out and they curve a little bit and they're a little bit more interesting than what we see over here. Take a look at these side by side. As you can see here, we've got more dramatic, it's just like a star, star, star. This comes all the way up to the top and it's a little bit more dramatic. Now looking at my starburst in the background, I'm going to move this over just a little bit there. There's some things I can do with that also if I wanted to. Because it's set up as a polygon, it's somewhat interactive, and I can tweak with that. Go ahead and zoom in here, get my shape tool, and I'll just come down here and just click a node here, click another node right beneath that on the other side, click a node here, pull that up there, and just make this look like it's got some points coming out of it. Right there. Totally different look for my starburst. Or I could do something, I'll hit Control Z, come in there, I could come down here into the center, now I'm working on the wireframe here, double click and drop a node here, 
double click and drop a node there and then I could come down here and take this point and pull it out to there for now and I could bring this up and out here and have it look like we've got two different sets of starbursts going on in the background there. Now I've created an extra set of points when I did that but because this is an interactive polygon tool I can change this to say 20 hit enter and now you'll see that the look we've got there going on with the starburst which is different than what we had started with and I could add multiple copies or I could bring this out here like this and now we've got a very different looking starburst set up or tweaked out with our design from the polygon tool as you can see right there compared to this one it's a little bit different there's a little bit more detail a little bit more touch to it right there now looking at my baseball text here in the bottom I might think that my outline of white is too big I might want to tweak that so I could just simply select what is my white object here copy that paste that back in go here to my interactive transparency tool select that come here and select clear transparency go ahead and left click so that I don't have any fill go to my object properties docker and give this let's say I want to click off here to my pick tool and give this let's say what do we have here what object do we have selected okay hit control Z and give this a none and then I'm going to give it let's say three points and that'll go in as a black or a lighter blue let me see and I want to move this down just a little bit so it's lined up here so I'll bring this back here like that and then that's set up correctly and now I've got a black outline around that that's going to give that some more definition in my design the word baseball you could go with this but you can see now we've got more definition in that text so what I've done is just done a little tweaking on my design but you always want to take a minute after you finish the design take a look at it and say well where can I tweak this what little things can I do in a few minutes that are going to improve the quality of the design we've gone from just the stars being up here to having more perspective or more depth we've added some more definition to our baseball text I'm going to see what that looks like with a light blue outline around the outside like that. Now you've got some interesting color coming off that and that could be a half tone as you see right there. Now I'm looking at my baseball and I'm saying you know what can I do with this also? Well I could give this some shading which would give it some more depth in the design. And I'll go ahead and zoom in here. Get my Bezier tool and I'll just create an ellipse that's going to come right down through here in the white actually what I'll do is I'm going to go to my ellipse tool thinking about this and analyzing it and what I'll do is I'll go ahead and ungroup this let's see what we've got and analyze our clip art here and I've got white on top of black so to make a highlight for this it's going to take me just a minute to add some depth to this design all I'm going to do is first I'm going to go ahead and copy this and then I'm going to paste it then I'm going to create an ellipse which is just about like here and I'm gonna go ahead and form or shape that ellipse around the side of my ball something like that there I might want to go maybe this way with it and I'm just gonna skew this over and then I'll skew this over this way just so it looks like there's more shading here then I'll go ahead and hold down my shift key select both of them come up here to the multiple objects properties bar and click on back minus front I can select this now and we'll give that a 20 percent gray fill now we've got a fill or some shading in our ball go ahead and group this I'm going to right click on this and select order I'm going to go behind and click on this ball then I'm going to hold down shift select this ball I'm going to hit C and E and then I'm going to click off, I'm going to click on, and I'll hit the delete key to delete that ball. And now I've got my ball set up with some shading in it. So now I've got even more depth in my design than what I had before over here. 
So we'll go ahead and wrap here, but I did want to go in this session and talk about tweaking our designs out. And then once again, I could very simply take this design and bring it over onto a comp and set that up to be sent out to a client. But these little tweaking or a little tweaking in your design can go a long way in your customer satisfaction because when customers see better art and better design on their garments and as I've said anyone that's buying garments except it's you know maybe it's just a simple logo or something like that but anyone that's buying custom garments or custom apparel from you is buying art on garments and your ability to go through the foundation of the design process and then moving into the next level of tweaking the design you're going to be able to create much better designs for your clients and we can see that there is quite a difference between these two when they're set up side by side on a garment. The stars do look better in my opinion. The starburst is a little bit different than just a plain starburst and we've got some shading added to the ball and we've got some blue added to the outline here of the distress effect to give that a little bit more pop on the shirt and you can see that the word baseball pops quite a bit more here. So we'll go ahead and wrap here and we'll see you in our next video.